Welcome to ESPN Crick Info's analysis of the first day between South Africa and Sri Lanka at Centurion. We've got Russell Arnold with us. And Russell, a disappointing performance from Sri Lanka. 180 all out is not what you wanted. Certainly not, but uh, when you looked at the pitch early and the, the amount of grass there was, you would have expected it to be tough. But the South African bowlers didn't bowl as well. And Sri Lanka got into a situation or a position from where they could have got 250 plus. So it was disappointing that it all folded up so quickly. 4 for 156 and uh, 31 balls later, all out 180. Not exactly what you want and lots of soft dismissals. There were hardly any wicket taking deliveries. So it, in that sense it was very disappointing that Sri Lanka didn't show much more heart. And I suppose particularly disappointing from the captain, Tilakaratni Dilshan, what a shot. Yeah, a lot of criticism about him being captain and you want him to lead from the front. And when he goes and plays a shot like that, on a pitch like this, South Africa, a quality attack, we know that. And this pitch would be doing lots of things. It will move around, uh, you'll get extra bounce. And Dilshan, that's not his strength area. He goes through the offside. True, he needs to be positive. But you play to your areas, going across the line so early in the innings. Whatever way you look at it uh, is not acceptable. And that puts Sri Lanka under pressure straight away. Sangakara got a good one straight after. From there on, Sri Lanka struggling. And Imagine Dilshan now having to motivate, bringing plans. When he showed that lack of discipline, I mean, it's going to be really tough for him going forward. Mahila Jai Wardner didn't look too bad, and he was all set for those 10,000 test runs and furious with himself when he got out. What did you think of that? Well, he battled hard, and he looked very good. I thought he had uh, what it took to make that big innings today because he was positive. He put away the loose balls, and probably the first real loose shot that he played when he got out, a ball that he would have left earlier on in the innings. And these are the traps that you can come across. Until then, it, it, he started looking comfortable. After lunch, they started picking off a few runs, so he would have got into the frame of mind that he's in. But on a pitch like this, you're never in and you get a loose ball, his feet didn't move, a loose shot, so lack of uh, concentration and also a sign that he's been worn down by the South African bowlers. They've got four quality bowlers coming at you all the time, so you have to concentrate, you'll tire mentally and these are the problems that you, it, that'll occur when you're in conditions that, are, that you're not used to. And one of those bowlers was Vernon Philander, he got those two dismissals with DRS help I suppose they wouldn't have been out if we didn't have the technology. But all round, a very, very strong performance from him. Well, you'd expect it from him. And the Sri Lankans expect him to be the real threat because he's a bowler who will bowl there and thereabouts, get the ball to move around. And that type of bowler coming at the back of someone like Morkel and Stain, he's going to be more uh, dangerous because he's the one who can get the wicket. You know what you're going to get from Stain. Morkel can be all over like he was. But Philander, he's got the ability for the ball to go, go across a little bit, uh, move around, skid through, and he's the one who will get the results more often. But lots of loose shots were still played though. What did you think of South Africa's leg spinner, Imran Tahir? Well, they couldn't come into the game at all. Sri Lanka plays spinners uh, well, but on this pitch, on the first day, he's not going to have much of an impact. Maybe get a few titles. I was even surprised that I saw him because wickets were falling and the South African bowlers were used in short spells so they were always fresh and the way the Sri Lankans were batting they were always going to keep them interested but Imran Tahir not the ideal conditions for him to come in I, I've seen him before uh, when he played for Pakistan A and uh, he's, he's a quality bowler but still not the right time for him to get into the game really difficult to comment at this stage Sri Lanka's bowlers have a massive task ahead of them South Africa will probably look to bat just the once what do you think they need to do to get back into this test match? Well, they need a lot of luck and they need to be patient. And that's the difficult thing to do when, you're, when you've got only 180 runs on the board. You need quick wickets. If not, South Africa are going to get ahead. And then Sri Lanka under the pump. And that's the problem that Sri Lanka has faced right through in the last two, three months. Where the first innings, the batsmen haven't got the runs on the board. And from then on, you're playing catch-up cr cricket. Not easy. but. That's the way the game goes and if Sri Lanka had capitalized on those starts, 156 for 4, got up to 250, 270, they would have given those bowlers a little bit more of a chance. Thanks Russell Arnold, we'll catch up with you through the test. Thank you.